All right, let's take a look at, at this particular example. Okay, so similarly, let me just uh, give my current to the same manner as I have always been doing it. It, it doesn't matter the way you decide to give your current, the direction, okay? It will always come back to the uh, same solution. All right. So here, So as usual, we are moving. We are moving from the negative to the positive. So our voltage is increasing from the negative to the positive, from our direction, the direction of our loop, from the direction of our loop. Okay. So this is what loop one, from the direction of our loop. Okay. So here is positive 140. All right. And then we're going to have. Uh, here will be positive, negative, because our loop is going this way. Wherever it passes first, that place will be positive. And wherever it's leaving, it will be negative. So it's passing here first, so positive. And it's leaving the resistor at this point, so negative. It's in this resistor, it's passing here first, positive. It's leaving at this point, negative, okay? So here, you see that uh, it, is from the, it is passing from the positive to the negative. So there's a voltage drop. Uh, because the direction of the loop is in the same as is the same as the direction of the current, so that signifies signifies voltage drop, okay? Or uh, because it's from the positive to the negative, which means it is toward decreasing, so voltage drop. And here also from positive to negative, it is decreasing, so voltage drop. Or uh, because the direction of the loop is the same as the direction of the current, that means what voltage drop. So minus 20 I1 minus 6. I2, okay? Then let's come to this place, loop 2. So here, I'm starting from here. So here is what? Negative. I'm going to positive. That means voltage is increasing, okay? So 6 what? I what? 2. Positive 6 I2. But so here, it will be this way, okay? Here, it will be like this, okay. So here, because the loop is going this way, so here will be positive, here is negative, okay. So now because the loop is going the same direction as the as the current, okay, it, it signifies a voltage drop, or because it's from positive to negative, which means it's doing decreasing, positive to negative. So it's a voltage drop, so minus 5 I3. Okay, so here from positive to negative, it means it's what? Uh, positive to negative means it's what? Decreasing. So minus 90 is equal to what? Zero. So here it must be equal to what? Zero because the voltage in the loop. Here is uh, equation three, equation two, and equation one. All right, so now let's solve these three equations. Okay, so let's just solve these equations. So let's say equation, equation one into into two as usual okay it doesn't matter the way you decide to solve it okay your answer will come out to be young uh, to be the same mm. so 140 minus 20 i2 plus i3 minus 6 i2 so 140 minus 20 i2 minus 20 i3 minus 6 I2 okay so here I'm going to have 140 minus 26 I2 minus 20 I3 is equals to 0 okay is equals to 0 is equals to 0 okay so 140 minus 26 I2 over 20 is equal to what? I3. Okay, so this is equation 4. Okay, so let's see 4 
23. So 6i2 minus 5. 140 minus 26 I2 over 20 minus 90 is equals to 0. So if I should multiply here by 20, then I'm going to have 120 I2 minus so we will have 250i2 is equals to we have i2 to be 10 amps so now i2 into equation 3 no i2 into equation 4 so here we will have 140 minus 26 into 10 over 20 is equal to I3. So 140 minus 260 over 20 is equal to I3. 260 over 20 is equal to I3. And so now let's say I2 and I3 into equation 1. So I1 is equal to I1 is equal to 10 minus 6 which is equal to 4 amps. So that means I1 is equal to 4 amps. Okay. So these are the solutions that we have. All right. Let us see if they are going to work for our circuit. So this is the circuit that we are dealing with. Here is 140 volt. Okay, that is 140 volt. Okay, so this place was I1. And here is 20 ohms. Here is 5 ohms. Here is 6 ohms. Here is 90 volt. So that is all. Here was I2 and this is I3. Okay. So now let's find the, the various voltage drops across resistors. Okay. So the 20 ohm resistor, what is the voltage drop? So it's going to be 20 times I1, and I1 was 4. 4, yes, 4 amps. So we're going to have 80 volts. So I'll have 80 volts here. So if you subtract 80 volts from this uh, 140 volts, uh, I'm going to get 60 volts here at this point. I'll get 60 volts at this point. All right, that means at this point, I'll get 60 volts. What is the voltage drop in this 6 ohm? Okay, so this 6 ohm, the voltage drop there will be 6 times I2. I2 was 10 amps, so times 10 amps, which is equal to what? 60 watt volt. So the voltage drop here is 60 volts. So if you subtract this 60 volt from this 60 volt, that means here is what? 0 volt. If you have 0 volt, here there is no voltage drop. That means here is also 0 volt. That means uh, it is correct for our loop 1, okay? It's correct for our loop 1. Now, because the sum of the voltage in the loop must be must be 0 volt, and we got it to be 0 volt. And this 5 ohm resistor, so that one, we're going to have 5 times I3, and I3 is minus 6, so minus 6 amps. 
okay minus six times so um, five times minus six is going to be uh, 30 okay it's going to be negative what 30 volts okay it's going to be ne negative 30 volts so then that the voltage drop here is negative what 30 volts okay so now 60 so now we're going to have 60 volts minus minus what 30 volts which is what 90 volts so i'll have what 90 volts here so if you subtract here is what positive is going to negative that means that it's decreasing it's negative so 90 minus 90 here will be what zero volt so here is zero volt that means that there's no voltage drop here here will be zero volt there's no voltage drop here here also was zero volt that means that our circuit is what correct okay so that means that our answers are very correct thank you so much for listening to this lectures all right enjoy your time bye bye